<laughs> Go ahead and do it. Action. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do the Birdman hand rub. This gonna be a good episode. I'm really gonna dive into some things that um, was inspired from the last episode about marriage and being in a um, consistent and real relationship. And, and what does it take? But where do you even learn this from? Like, where do you get the qualities to be able to get into a relationship like that? Where does it start? We're gonna have to burn us one. This gonna be, this gonna get deep. And I'm gonna tell you right now why we gotta burn this one and why it might get stressful for all of us because we're going to be talking about single black mothers. And every time we talk about single black mothers, we get some flack. We're gonna get some flack for real. But the truth is, I think the reason why everybody's so triggered by this topic is because many of us were raised by single black mothers or have had some relationship with a black woman in our lives raising us. Um, and we got some trauma from that because many times black women were over us or the stewards over us solely or in some chief way and everything that they felt we felt, whether they were happy or sad. And that could be very problematic. Why did I choose to talk about single black motherhood? I think as far as black people, um, primarily many of us have been raised in a single parent household. And most of the time it has been by a single black woman. Um, when you are growing up, how you are raised really determines how you turn out. Everything that you're taught, everything that is brought to you as information as a child, zero to five, has a very big impact on how you will be as an adult and how you will interact with other people. The ideal situation Oh, good one, girl. Here you go, babe. The ideal situation is that we have both of our parents. Um, in this situation, it's not even just about the romance <coughs> of the parents um, that influences it influences the child, but it's also. I guess this smoke is. Um, it's not, it's not just, it's not just the, um, the, the relationship that influences, influences the child or the children. It's also how they interact with each, each gender. Okay. It's how they interact with, with each gender. You learn how to deal with men by growing up in the house with one, by being raised with one. You learn how to interact and govern yourself around a man by how you was raised with one. You learn how to interact with a woman by how you were raised with one and how you have interacted with one. You also follow adult examples. So how your father treats your mother and how your mother treats your father is ultimately how you respond to the opposite sex. This is true. The reason why we have these imbalances and how we treat each other is because of the exposure early on. If you've had an unhealthy experience with men, chances are, and this is male or female, if you've had an unhealthy experience with a man, it's going to be very difficult to have any type of relationship with men. And I'm not even talking about sex right now. I'm just talking about how you interact. There are plenty of heterosexual men that I have interacted with as a heterosexual man on business and they act like bitches. I'm just, this is not me to be negative. This is not for me to be insulting. But I'm very, I'm serious, very bitchy, very emotional. Men can be very emotional. Black men can be very emotional. 
when you're dealing with them. So I can only imagine what it's like if a woman's in a relationship with them. Many men suffer with this, but what do you expect if he was raised in a single parent household? More than likely raised by his mother. When we say that it becomes an attack, but it's not an attack, it's just, it's really rational to know that and understand that. If this man has not ever dealt with men in, an, in a healthy manner or has had a positive male, in, this is why prison and the military work. This is what Charleston White talking about. Because what prison and the military offers is discipline. It offers some regulation. Um, men get to see real men at work, even if they've had a criminal background. It doesn't change what your profession is. A man is a man and he does manly things. 